Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching, the biggest little YouTube channel on the entire interwebs. I am your host, Q the Rider, and in today's episode, I'm going to talk about the newest addition to the Riding and Wrenching Garage. It is a VR headset from Apple known as the Vision Pro. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does this have to do with motorcycles? Well, I'm going to answer that question in this video, and I'm going to talk about the device. I'm going to talk about some of the pros and cons, and I'm going to talk about how I plan to use this device in my YouTube channel. Before I get started, I want to recognize the sponsors for riding and wrenching. We have Wings Customs and Volunteer Audio. If you're interested in being a sponsor for riding and wrenching, my contact information is in the description of this video. Let's get into it. What is a VR headset? Well, a VR headset is basically a new way of consuming content, i.e. watching videos. It is a computer, it is a television, it's a music player, it's all of that, all built into one device. And it has the biggest screen that you've ever seen in your life. It's absolutely amazing. Now, Apple announced this device about a year ago. And when I saw it, it really intrigued me because I'm always looking for something new to do on my channel. And I love technology. But also, about probably a couple of years ago, I was traveling with a good friend of mine. And we visited someone, a young man who was bound to a wheelchair. And he'd been in a wheelchair his entire life. And you know, in the back of my mind, I'm like, this guy is never going to be able to ride a motorcycle. He's never going to experience that feeling that every biker is familiar with. That being on a motorcycle, having the wind in your face and seeing places and going places that you've never been before. He's never going to get to experience that. So in my mind, while we're sitting there talking, I'm like, I wonder if there's a way I can create a YouTube video or some type of video so that he can get a taste of what motorcycle riders get. So I was, I was experimenting with it, rigging up cameras all over my bike and trying to come up with some creative way to make a video and nothing looked good. The simplest thing was putting a GoPro camera on your chin or on your helmet or on the side of your helmet, which a lot of you have seen. And in the video, you see the fairing and you see the road ahead. And that's about as close and as good of a job as you can do uh, on a television screen or on an iPad or a cell phone or something. That's as good as it gets. With a VR headset, it takes it to another level because now you could be the passenger on the bike, you could be the rider, and not only will you see the fairing, not only can you see what's in front of you, you can look to the left and see all the scenery going by or look to the right and see the scenery going by. Maybe you're riding in a pack and you see a motorcycle here. You can look behind you and see a motorcycle over there. You can look up and see the sky. You can turn around and look behind you and maybe there's more motorcycles behind you. Maybe there's a car behind you that's riding too close. A VR headset puts you in the moment. And when I demoed this device at the Apple store, it blew my mind because the demonstrations that they had at the Apple store, one of them uh, was Alicia Keys, the recording artist, and she was in a recording studio with um, her backup singers and a band, and there were some sound engineers in a the booth. There were a couple of people sitting on the couch doing absolutely nothing. You had a Steinway piano, you had some type of upright piano, beautiful recording studio, but it wasn't a video. I wasn't watching it on the screen. I was in the recording studio with Alicia Keys, and at one point, she starts walking up to me, and it actually freaked me out a little bit, because it's that awkward feeling you get when you're in somebody's personal space, and you know, I backed up a little bit, and I had to remind myself that this is virtual reality. It's not real, but it looked real and it gave you all the same feeling of actually being in that space. Well, my dream is to be able to create content, VR content for motorcycles. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I don't know what kind of equipment that I'm gonna need, but I'm gonna figure it out and I'm gonna create some VR content 
for motorcycles. I'm also going to use this device to create some first person videos and basically what that means on the screen you're going to see my hands coming around maybe I'm doing an oil change or doing some other work on the bike or maybe doing a tutorial on whatever Harley's next infotainment screen is or something like that. That's the type of content that I want to create with this device and I'm really excited about it because and you will be too if you take the time to do that demo. So I don't care if you don't like Apple, maybe you're an Android person or maybe, I don't know, whatever. Go to apple.com and register for one of these demos and you'll better understand what I'm talking about. Another way to explain it, you know, we have the Super Bowl coming up or maybe by the time you've watched this, the Super Bowl's already passed. But in any event, most of us watch the Super Bowl on television. Maybe you have a 75 inch television or whatever you have. You have some big gigantic big screen LED TV and it looks fantastic hanging on the wall, right? Well, a VR headset, you can still watch the Super Bowl, but you're in the stadium on the 50 yard line on the front row. Or you're in the owner's box sitting in between Taylor Swift and Jason Kelsey. While Jason Kelsey is sucking down Budweiser's and Taylor Swift is amazed every time Travis makes a catch. Or maybe you're down on the field with the players. Maybe you're hovering over the field and you're in the stadium. You can look up and see the dome. You can see all the players. You can look around and see everything. It puts you in the moment. That's the best way that I can explain it. And it's completely different than watching something on, on a television or on an iPad or on your phone or whatever. It's different. And you, the only way you're going to understand this is to go demo it yourself. So what are some of the downsides of this device? Number one, it is expensive. This thing starts at $3,500. Starts. Because you may want to add additional memory. It's going to cost you more money. You may want to buy a traveling case. This thing is $200. Oh my God, it's expensive. Um, this battery was included with the device only lasts about two hours. So you may need to buy an extra battery or some type of external battery so you can keep it going longer than two hours. It's just really expensive. It's a big investment and a lot of people won't be able to spend that kind of money. Fortunately, Apple isn't the only company in the world. Uh, Oculus, so there's something, there's a VR headset called Oculus. Based on what I've seen, it's not quite as good as uh, the Apple Vision Pro. You know, the Apple Vision Pro is an actual computer. Uh, and I imagine that the prices will come down if this technology is accepted by the public. Another downside to this Vision Pro, it's ugly. <laughs> it's a, well, well, there's only two devices. You got the Oculus and the, this thing. They're both ugly. You know, let's just be honest about it. This one, as ugly goes, this one might be slightly more stylish. But once you put this thing on, you're going to lose cool points. You automatically become less cool, even if you're not cool at all. Well, let me show you what it looks like. So thankfully, I'm not known for being cool, so this doesn't bother me. <laughs> but this thing is anything but cool. Let, let's give you a profile shot. Yes, sir. Anything but cool. But it's amazing. It, it, it truly is. Uh, do yourself a favor and go take the, uh, and go do a demo. Uh, the next downside to this device that a lot of people are complaining about is the weight. So that's why I have my scale here. And because we're all bikers, I have a motorcycle helmet. And I'm going to show you the difference in weight between this Oculus and the lightest motorcycle helmet, the lightest DOT motorcycle helmet that I'm aware of. This is a badass helmet. It's not a description, that's the brand name. And so a lot of you are probably familiar with this helmet. Super lightweight. So let's weigh this helmet. I'm going to turn it to the side so I can see it a little bit. I'm going to have to turn it all the way around. Okay. So the badass helmet comes in at 1 pound 6.9 ounces. Now let's weigh our Oculus. 
or Oculus. That's Vision Pro. And it comes in at one pound, 6.1 ounces. This is actually lighter than the badass helmet. It's not that heavy. The problem with it is that all of the weight is on the front of your face. And you feel it. It weighs you down a little bit. But it has this nice strap in the back and it's adjustable with this dial here. And it's actually pretty comfortable once you get it on and you get used to it. I mean, I'm, I wear a half helmet, I wear a full face helmet. My full face helmet, I think it weighs, it's over four pounds, significantly heavier than this. So this is nothing. Now, some of the pros, I've, I've talked about what you see and how it puts you in the moment, but it's also, um, you know, because it's a computer, it can do everything a computer can do. Uh, you have word processors on here. You can have put a, a spreadsheet on here. I can open up an uh, internet browser page. In fact, I can open up an internet browser page and place them in different parts of the space that I'm in. I can put them in my garage here, any size I want. Maybe I'm working on my bike and I'm doing something I haven't done before. Maybe I'm changing my handlebars and I can work on my bike and have a YouTube video from riding and wrenching playing over the bike. I can pause it and press play while I'm working on the bike. It's amazing. It, it, it really, it's amazing and gives you a lot of different things you can do with it. So that's the Apple Vision Pro. Now I'm planning to, or I will be uh, putting together a playlist on my YouTube channel where I'm gonna be producing content specifically with the Vision Pro. We'll be talking about using the device, owning the device. I'm gonna talk about what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Just everything Vision Pro is gonna be in that playlist. Now, if you found this video because of the Vision Pro, understand this is a motorcycle channel. I would appreciate you subscribing, but if you do, you're gonna get inundated with motorcycle content. So just check back in that playlist occasionally, and we're gonna to put together some pretty creative content with the Vision Pro. If you're a biker, then definitely subscribe to the channel because I've got some phenomenal motorcycle content that we're gonna create for and with this device. This is Q, I'm riding, I'm wrenching, and I am out.